Nice to meet you. No, no worries. So please tell me, what started the fight between you two a couple of weeks ago? Okay, so I work in an overnight shift. I do security. Okay. So I come in the house, and my mom just said something about me putting gas in the car. And I'm like, you know, I don't have the money right now. I'm going to put it in there. Okay. So she just got like a fight match, and I had hair. I cut my hair out. She pulled my hair, and we just like, I tried to get her off of me. I'm not going to let you hit me. Like, mm -hmm. I'm grown now. You can't just, like, I'm not a child. So she so. just pulled out the blue and just started pulling your hair because you didn't put we gas in the car? We was yelling at each other. We was yelling and we was arguing, but it's like, she was just doing too much, mm. per usual. Tell me about your childhood. <sighs> my grandma really raised me. My mom was there, but not really there. What did your mom expose you to when you moved in with her at 12? Um, just a lot of different people. Like, just when we moved into our apartment, it was just like, she was partying every day. It was people over there playing cards, yelling. Then it would turn to a fight because it's so serious. It's just too much all the time. And my producer told me that when your grandmother passed, which I'm very sorry about, your relationship changed with your mom. Yeah, it's like we became distant. It may have to be the mom, but it, I feel like she didn't do that. Got it, all. got it. And so you were craving her to be more serious? Yeah, of course. Okay. I always want my mom to be serious. I always want my mom to be my mom, but not my friend. Mm, okay. Are you scared to talk with your mom about this type of stuff? I would say yeah, because anytime I try to talk to her, it's always, I'm right, you're wrong. My I'm mom told me um, yesterday, like, she threw her life away from me. Like, I she told me. It. So it's it. like, that hurt when you say that. When you say those type of things, like, how do you think that makes me feel? Like, I threw my life away for you. Mm. How did your mom react when you let her into your life about your sexuality? Um, it wasn't hard to know. You know, so when she kept asking me about it, I kept saying no because, like, I just didn't want to, I wasn't comfortable saying it yet. Mm -hmm. I wasn't comfortable being, you know, open about it, things like that. And but you get the choice, too. You yeah. let her in when you want. So when I finally came out, it was just like she gave me a little hell about it. Like, she was like, that's not right. But I'm like, you're gay. And then she would say, well, I start messing with men so you wouldn't be gay. Like, so... How are you so blamed? when she was younger, she identified as a lesbian? Yes. And then she stopped because she felt like that was going to influence yeah. you. Okay. And then is she now in a relationship with a man? No, she's married to a woman. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Tell me how it was when she got married. In the week, she got married. She got married in a week? Yeah, a week. Well, I would say a week and a half. So she met her partner and they got married within a week? Yeah. Mm. She met her partner. She said it was just a once a one night thing. A week later. It's, it, no, it's been two years. Two years. And still, they're still and together. Mm. So it's a lot. Do you like Kenya? Do you think your mom deserves better? I think mom deserves better. I'm not too fond of Kenya, no. Mm. My producer said that you think that oh, she has yeah. toxic traits. They're trace right here. That she displays. They're right here. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I love a receipt. So, I love a good receipt, too. Yes. <laughs> so, my toxic traits is I feel like Kenya's a user. Okay. I feel like she's al alcoholic. Manipulative, mm. a narcissist, and verbally abusive. Wow. Yes. Okay. And I know she wants to hang this on the wall, but it's right here. So, what do you want to tell your mom today? I want to tell my mom do better. Be better. Like, you can have so much potential. My mom is, like, the best in the world. She can be. Yeah. She just doesn't do it. My producers are telling me that you want an ultimatum, that either your mom today has to choose you and build a relationship with you or choose Kenya. And if she chooses Kenya, you're walking away. Yeah, I'm going to get my own place and do my own thing. Mm. Definitely. Well, okay then, listen. Which I think that they want. Oh. That's what they want. Okay. Let's hear what Tyler has to say about this. Everyone, please welcome Tyler to the show. Malcolm, your ass is grown. You 21, you a big ass baby. I'm not your a grandma big baby. did that to you. And yes, I gave her my whole. How did you give my you? life? How did you give me my life? I was 17 when I had you. That's your fault. I was 17 That's, when I, I had actually you. Brought to this I, world, I didn't ask to have you. Okay, then but, but I did, did you what I had want. to do to make sure you was good. You ain't never you lacked nothing. You ain't never that's lacked the problem. nothing you think in your whole you give me, life. Just because you your gave me whole, everything, that doesn't I mean anything. I gave you my life. You didn't give me your I life. I gave you my life. How did you give me your life? I gave you everything. You ain't lacked nothing. Clearly, you ain't missed a meal. You everything. And everything. Good. Okay. Can you sit down? I can. So, do you get into fights like this often? All the time. All the time. 
And do, what did the fights usually come from? Is it his just his mouth? His mouth. He needs to mind his business. Mm -hmm. How could I mind my business when your business is in front of me? Like and because you're in my house. Okay, but I'm Move. in your house. So if I wasn't most there, twenty one year olds be in college. There, most twenty one year olds be in college. But you tell me I don't have to leave. Most twenty one year olds go okay. to college. All right. What happened the, during the last fight you two had? He tried to kill me. Like I got no, no, like not like kill, kill. But I have bad, I have bad knees, uh -huh. right? And what he does is he punches at my knees. He punches. If she the has knees. my hair and I need to get you off me, and you're my mom, and I can't, I'm not going to physically, like, do my mom. So I hear her, we spot to get her off me. Mm. So what you mean? What, what, what you want me to do? Do you think he respects you? He don't respect nothing. He don't nah, respect himself. Nothing. Why do no, you say he doesn't, doesn't respect myself. himself? Because he doesn't, he doesn't focus on what needs to be done. Malcolm ain't no bad person. I had him at 17. My mom kind of, like, stepped in and kind of, like, you know, did, did her big one with mm -hmm. him. I'm not going to even lie. She did her thing with raising him, but she spoiled him. And he's selfish. He's selfish. How the only person selfish? you think about is yourself. Mom, you... no, I, if I didn't think, if I thought about myself, Lower I wouldn't care tone. about you. Lower your okay. tone. Chill. Lower your tone. Okay, he can chill. Hear you. I said, if I didn't, if I only care about myself, I wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. I care about you. I care about a lot about you. Made you made this, this is about you. But this it's ain't really... got nothing to do with me. Okay. This is about you. Because if you All cared right. about me, you wouldn't make me choose between you and my wife. If you cared about me, we wouldn't be here. Does he get along with your wife? No, he don't know. Mm -hmm. Why do you think? How is because they just alike. Mm. They do don't care about nobody like but Malcolm. themselves. Do you feel like you're forced to be in the middle? I am in the middle. Mm. How does that affect you? I don't want to hurt neither one of them, so I hurt myself mm. by sticking around. I don't want to hurt him. Like I said, I gave him my life. What do you mean by that you gave him your life? I need to understand clearly what that means. I stopped doing everything for me until he was 18. And then when he turned 18, he gonna ask me, oh, so you're not my, you, are you tired of being my mom? Just let me know if you're tired of being my mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. I've been doing this my whole life. So I how do you think that you're tired of being my mom? That stuff like that, that hurt. You can't say that. And I already feel a type of way. Like, you can't say you're tired of being my mom. And Why did you ask? Hurt. What do you, you mean? asked me, was I tired of being your mom? I'm gonna always be your parent until the day I have no life left in my body. But you have to understand, 17 years old, I ain't know what I was doing. I ain't have a clue, ain't no handbook for this. If I would've had you at 30, I probably still would've knew what I was doing. But from 17 to the, you turn 18, and now I get to live a little bit, and you ain't, you, you got a problem with that? You can't say, you, you cannot sit here and say to Mr. Karamo that you, that I was a bad mother. And it's not living you your, making it's me not look like I'm a bad life. mother, I and said, I was never a bad mother. And you mother. always say that you're a bad. You said that you're a bad mom. No, I've you make me look no, like a bad you mother. You said that you're a bad mom. I've never said that Malcolm, you're a bad mom. And I'm you trying know that to I tell you, boy. You I'm that. telling you. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm stating the truth. But you ain't got to do it so loud. You yelling. So what's the problem? I'm the mama. Okay. Oh my God. What do you think about the list that he made about your wife? He said, was I lying? he said that he thinks your wife is a user, an alcoholic, manipulative, narcissist, verbally abusive. And these have come from her. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you think she's using you? OK, well, that silence tells me a lot. If your wife, Kenya, is in the audience today, Kenya, can you please stand? Kenya, how do you feel about hearing this? Nowhere near. Nowhere near. So just like I of said, not like I say, Kenya. none of, of it's not true. Because it's from both ends. Everybody can be a narcissist in their own way. Everything starts from home. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, the stuff I've been around since I came around, it's been none but them doing this. So when I do speak up on something, I'm too blunt. From your opinion, what's your relationship with Malcolm? It, I, I ain't, I ain't. Do you like him? Yeah. No. I never said I had a problem. But no. when I came and started speaking up on things that I felt like that him. was wrong in she the household. Like Your wife is saying you don't like him. I didn't never say I did. Do you want Malcolm to move me. out of y'all's house? I yeah. never spoke on y'all house. Uh, we had a conversation. That's not what you said, Kenya. So what I that. say? Don't do that. He don't this is the live reason with you. why I'm you don't in my own live apartment him, now. So because this... they, he, he, you clearly but told that's me your wife. So that you're, he you're... don't want me there. So like, you're saying that. No, you, and you, you clearly, told me that. You said now, you don't on my want grandmother, him there. you told me that. You said he needs to move dad, out. On my dad, and deceased grandmother, you told me that. You said he needs to move out, bro. 
You said that to him. You yeah, said that to I me. Yeah, I did. I said, if he okay, don't want nobody saying something about the simplest things, but he need to get his own. You, this is like grown people standing on their own two feet. This is not making sense. Grown people stand on their own two feet. Exactly. I'm the only adult up here, because I'm the only one that both of y'all stand on. Girl, what you mean? Both of y'all don't need I don't need you, honey. Then go, boo. I'm not stopping you from leaving. I don't need you. I'm not stopping you from leaving. I need you, honey. I'm not stopping you from leaving. Don't do that. Checked off. The list is checked, baby, so hey. In the house, this will turn into something else. And I will have to step into the middle because oh, oh, I let my mom down. Okay. She don't play. So but, chill. But people got to uh, realize how she talks and come off too. It ain't just me. I'm tired. What do y'all want what me you to mean? do? Y'all want me to sit here and be you like, You can't be tired out. as a mother. I'm so happy. But what about as a wife? You can't be tired as a mother. You can't be tired as a wife. Okay, that's fine. And that's now fine everybody, too. okay, so I'm tired. Everybody get tired. I'm tired. So I'm tired I'm of taking care of everybody and nobody takes care of me. Both of y'all get on my nerves. I get tired. You said. I'm the one that got to go to work. Are y'all authorized to both my knees not working? Nobody Amazon said delivery you had packages? to. Because you won't get up and take a job anywhere. How I won't? Not the other, bro. First Not off, off. Stop first off I stop won't find a job. Stop first talking off, to me, bro. I just was stop incarcerated. Talking to me. Stop I talking. lost my bro, job. Bro, I was in jail three days. Honey, you was in jail, you jail three days, girl. I was in jail three days, girl. Okay, let me give y'all three days. Oh, yeah, a week. Thank a you for week. your opinion. A whole week. I just started the job. First of all, I left my job. The I. The I. The I did everything to save. I did everything to save your job, bro. So me, because of my case, I can't find a job. I did everything to save your job. And what you do? Thank you, Kenya. So the interesting part is that you came on here to give your mother an ultimatum about choosing her or choosing your wife. Yeah. You didn't need to give an ultimatum because I'm an outsider that's watching this. You two are in a healthy relationship. You don't want to be in it. You just told me you're moving out. You don't want to be in it. And I think for you, when you were saying no one takes care of me, the first step you can do is take care of yourself by ending exactly. that type of relationship. First. You have to find the strength in yourself to end that relationship. Even though you two have a similar amounts, there is part of this where you are a little spoiled, and you are a little disrespectful to your mother. Okay. And at the end of the day, I do believe a lot of the things that you say to him come from the way your relationship was established before. Like when you say, I gave you my life, um, you owe me, you go tit for tat for him, which is not the healthiest response from a mother. And I want to just encourage you to understand that you could talk to him differently. But I understand that there is a bit of spoiledness. You would agree with me when you say I'm yeah. a bit spoiled. Yeah. I do understand now why she says things like, I gave my life. It's not a healthy thing to say. But I understand because you're saying, I pick up, I do for you, I'm giving for you, I'm doing everything, and you're taking advantage of the fact that you know she's going to do that. Yeah. So she is right in the fact that you do take advantage of her. And you are right in the fact that she's an unhealthy relationship. But the fact that you are both right means that you both need to start doing the work. You need to start doing the work to figure out how to end and fix your own personal life. Because at some degree, when I heard y'all talking about, well, what well, do you have a man? Do you got, and y'all were going back and forth, that tit for tat y'all do. He's inadvertently picking up things from you. You need to be able to handle your situation, but also you need to adult up. Not even man up, you need to adult up. Okay. You are 21. You should be able to move out this house. There is a piece of you owe your mother an apology for taking advantage of her. And I'm sorry, Ma. I, I... You say you don't, you think I don't love you, but I love you like, damn. I do apologize, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on it. I promise. Take, like, take work on what? I'm gonna work on not taking advantage of you and being respectful and watching Thank what you. I say. There you go. I apologize, Malcolm. I would do better in how I'm talking to you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you. Girl, come here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and one last thing before we go. One last thing before we go. You. Stay out of their relationship. Please. You need to, this is your first task outside of being responsible and growing up and doing your thing. They're toxic. I've seen it. We've all seen it. But you don't need to be involved in that. Your mother has to make her own choices. This is still her partner that she chose, whether you like it or not, and you have to give that woman respect until they end it. Okay? okay? Good luck to y'all, all right? Want more Unlocked Phones? 
DNA reveals, and family drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to the Karamo Show YouTube.